Hello, my name is Autumn Embers and welcome to my channel and for today's video I am collaborating with the lovely Heather from Kelly and when we were thinking of ideas what to do I suggested to make a shell build where I do the exterior including the um, interior walls with layout, the windows, the doors, the foundation, the exterior paint and anything else that you can think of that includes the exterior and then I will then upload it to the Sims 4 gallery and then she will then download it into her game to do the interior. Now she um, suggested to do a more traditional build because she was more um, comfortable decorating an interior build which was absolutely fine with me. I prefer uh, building a more traditional build so I was very happy with that. Um, which meant um, I could then create an autumn build because um, before she suggested to do a more traditional build I had an autumn build in mind so I was very happy that I could still build a traditional autumn house because I absolutely love autumn and anything to do with it as my channel name may suggest because I love the colours, I love the fact you can wrap up nice and warm, I love the fact there's Halloween, I absolutely love Halloween and then straight after that it's bonfire night, we can celebrate with fireworks and sparklers and there's all like cotton candy and then there's a fun fair type thing going on and I just absolutely love autumn it's like pumpkin spice lattes all over the place which is just like autumn in a cup I've only had one sip of it from my sister um, last year but I absolutely love autumn so I was very happy that I could make a traditional build and make it all very autumn like um, now talking a little bit more about Heather from Cali uh, you can follow her on the Sims 4 gallery under the name Heather from Cali. I will link it in the description box below. Um, she does a lot of room builds. Uh, uh, she makes a lot of um, Sims, which is great because when you uh, want another family in your uh, own game, but don't fancy making a big old family, just pop over to Heather from Cali. She has a lot of families on there. She also has a lot of children rooms on there. She also has some bills. Uh, currently, she is making a home for Morgan. I assume it's a uh, Morgan from this uh, Sims for Realm of Magic trailer. So keep an eye on that. She's also on Twitter. I will also link her Twitter in the description box below so you can catch up on what she's doing and and what's coming next. So with this house, you might have seen this house was very dictated by the roofing, which was unusual for me. Um, I, don't, I don't, yeah, it was very dictated by the roof. Um, the colours of the exterior here, I wanted to make it very autumn-like, very cosy and mm, snuggly. Um, I think I was also inspired by another house that I've done but that you have not seen because I was, I was happy with the exterior but I wasn't too happy with it overall. I can't remember why, it was a very long time ago. When I mean very long time ago, it was about two months ago. Well, no, one month ago, mate. We're in October, aren't we? Yes. So, yeah, two months ago. That sounds about right. Yes. So, I, I really like the exterior, um, exterior of that house. Um, I like this all, like, get famous shingles that were there. So, um, and I absolutely love the green colour that comes in there. Um, I've been using it quite a lot. I went, oh, this is a nice colour. I'm going to plonk it everywhere I can find a fit for it. Uh, so it's, I've gone with all like nice warm wood tones, a nice bit of green. The tower screamed stone at me. And then I was like, okay, I need to put the stone somewhere else and not just leave a tower that's made of stone. Because that's, for me, that's a little bit weird. Um, so I just plonked it to the side of the house, making that... Ah, uh, ah, uh, yeah. This is this is what it's supposed to look like. I thought about this, so it was in a last minute decision. Um, 
so I sort of like dotted it about a little bit. I've been quite into sort of like um, uh, painting builds in like three different um, exterior paints and all textures. I, I really like it at the moment so be prepared to see that quite often on my channel because um, I do have builds coming up. Uh, they're in production. Um, I've co I completed one build. Um, it's quite sort of like a wizard's sort of like lair type of thing. Um, so that's coming up soon. I also I have also been preparing um, houses through my series of houses through the ages. So that be um, houses through history, starting off with a Tudor house. That so I've been uh, working on that. So that will be coming soon. <laughs> Putting in the windows, I absolutely love Stranger Bill windows. I really want to say Stranger Things, but it's no Stranger Real uh, windows. Absolutely love these. Um, was going to choose that window, the very front window, the one that just deleted. Um, but I deleted it because it was so it, it was showing too much of the interior, and I don't get to use that space because it's the roof. I think I'm about to place the stairs, I think. Yes, I am. Right, kind of the stairs, I have a problem with stairs, full stop, okay? Um, especially now they've updated the stairs, I feel guilty for not using the new configurated stairs. I feel guilty when I just plonk down like a straight set of stairs that we've been given this new tool I'm not using it I mean I hardly ever use the um, terrain tools um, so I feel guilty for not using the configurated stairs and so I was like okay I'm gonna use them there's a weird sort of uh, jut out of, um, of an oct octagon there so I thought okay we might we might we might not have spiral staircases but I can sort of like put these uh, stairs in. Um, the diagonal roofing was a bit of a problem as you can see because as I was putting stairs in it was sort of like the roof was coming through. Um, I was trying to sort of like stop that from happening so I can actually place the stairs where this little uh, diagonal bit is. I managed to figure it out but ugh, it was a pain. The one thing that I dislike about traditional builds is the roofing because if you want to do sort of like a mezzanine or like a little cutout bay route around the stairs the roofing will sometimes clip through and it's like oh what do I do here I don't know. Um, but I managed to fit them in slowly do I not put them in the jar? Oh no I don't, sorry I built this a while ago and uh, like I said I've been building other things so I can't remember really. All I do remember I was having quite a jolly good time building it, I was sort of like getting really into it because like I said it was an autumn build, I was getting ready for autumn and I had to sort of like stop myself and like remind myself, hey hang on, you're doing the shell build for someone else so they can upload it and decorate it. You. I have mentioned you will see it, um, see the end result in an, like an end bit of a video. So this is like, no, don't put down flooring, stop it. So I resisted and it's just a shell, okay? I, I uploaded the shell. Now I will show you the end result for, and so you can see what Heather from Cali has done and it is very good I have to say. She's used items that I would never think of using because I keep forgetting they're in the game. I'm very happy that she um, 
got the idea of putting a fireplace in because this house gleams fireplace at me so I'm happy that she also put a fireplace in. I'm also very happy that she um, also put in a laundry room. I was like, okay, if I was doing this, this is what I put laundry. And so I'm very happy that there's a laundry room in there. Um, so 10, because so we've got three minutes left. Do I put in? Yeah. I'm not too sure if, you, if she saw that and went, okay, I think a fireplace should be in there, but. Many times I put in for um uh, chimneys and I forget to put fireplaces in there. So I don't know. Uh, just doing the layout. Um, very happy with the layout. It's quite a small hallway, but it's like full, nicely conformed. Bit annoyed that these windows are quite high up. Nothing we could really do about that because the roofing was kind of dictating where the uh, windows went. Um. So I'm a bit annoyed with myself that those windows are quite high up. I felt quite bad giving this house with those very high windows. Pop dance on these, uh, are they leaves or are they flowers? I don't know. But they have really nice autumn colours uh, um, that kind of remind me of Gryffindor colours. Um, put them down. I also put in some of those sort of like climbing up leaves. Here we go. I put... I know we use them in the green colour, but since there was green on the walls anyway, I thought it would be quite nice to put some red leaves in there because the leaves in autumn turn red, so I thought that would be quite a nice idea. Let's um, put a bit here and there. Really had to restrict myself because you can overdo the sort of like the leaves climbing up on the wall or the vines climbing up the wall. You can sort of like overdo them, sort of like drown your build. Um, so I'm going to leave this here, um, I will join you in a minute uh, for the tour of the interior, so stay tuned for that. Um, like I said, I will uh, put um, Heather from Kelly um, Twitter in the description box below along with her gallery ID. So you can go and follow her because that is a thing that I only knew about this year. But yeah, go and follow her. It would be very nice to support another simmer. Okay, I will join you in a minute. Literally a minute. Okay. I see you then. I'm waving to you. Wave, wave. So here we have um, the autumn house, this is the exterior, this is what it looks like, but we're not here for that because there is a whole video on it and you've just seen it. So this bit is all about the interior. So let's go and have a look, shall we? So in we go, we've got a lovely entrance foyer. So we've got um, a little coat rack with a, what's the word, uh, pick and mix, no, trick or treat bowl with sweets in it. So a little autumn thing there, and it's Halloween soon, so there we go. We've got a little umbrella stand there, and then we've got, oh, we've got another sort of like coat rack there. Well, this is a big family home, so you're going to have lots of coats about, aren't you? And oh, got a nice little um, decoration box that I always forget to put in these days. Um, when season came out, I was doing it all the time, but now I keep forgetting. So that's the nice torch there. And then we go inside. <gasps> we got a fishy tank. 
keep forgetting to put fish tanks in here, but we do have them. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put a fish tank in my bill because I like that. And then we've got like a little study nook with uh, the bookshelves and oh, got a good a guitar there with the uh, desk. And then we saw a ring around. We've got a Christmas tree. And then we've got mice him playing um play the llama. It's a llama game, isn't it? And then we swing around over here. And then we've got a little kitty cat area. And then over here we've got the family living area. And best of all, it's got a fireplace. Uh, can you just imagine sort of like having playing um a big sort of family? It's three this house is three bedrooms, but um a family just sort of, sort of like sitting here watching telly with the fire going with I don't know, father and son playing the llama game or playing cards and being all nice and cosy and all these sort of like decoration clutter items. Oh yeah. And then let's go and see what is in this drawer. Do -do -do -do. Do -do -do -do. Oh, we've got a downstairs bathroom which is always very handy, especially when you've got toddlers about. Oh, a little kitty cat tray, Lila, in the bathroom. That's cute. And the last bright bathroom. Nice bit of detailing with this uh, towel thingy. And then we shimmer back through the door. Say hi, family. How you doing? And then we, oh, bookcase. And then we swing back around. Hey, Dad and Son playing games. And then swing around. Hello Christmas tree into this kitchen. And they say hello to fishies. Oh, can you imagine sort of like the cat playing with uh, the fish? And you're like, hey, get out the fish tank. And then you come round here, lift us up a little bit and then go down. I, I really like the fact that it's so simple, but it's putting the uh, toddler chair round the table. I know we just put it against the wall like halfway down the room but that is such a nice idea just having like the toddler round the table. And then a nice big kitchen and I have to say oh, she's done a really good job with uh, the kitchen because putting kitchen cabinets against a diagonal wall is a pain I have to say. Sorry I was sort of like talking to you and showing all you a wall look at this you've got like a popcorn machine we've got little sauces oh, and then you oh, then we've got like a dishwasher two sinks because you know families they make a bit of a mess so you need a two sink and a dishwasher got a lovely island uh, i can imagine kitchen islands on a diagonal would be a pain to place you got a nice little detail with the plate cabinet. And then the table over here. Really love these drawings on the wall. Makes it more family friendly and cosy and warm. And then go through this door. What's through door number two? And then we've got a nice laundry area, which is quite nice to have. Nice bit of like added gameplay when you've got a laundry. So that's nice. And it's quite it's quite oh hello. It's quite let's let's twizzle the camera around because oh, you can see outdoors. There's quite a lot in here for quite a small bit of space, but it, it it all fits nicely. And then we go whoop, through the door. And then we're gonna magically lift ourselves up through the ceiling Ooh, there we go oopsie doopsies don't wanna don't wanna spoil the supplies and up we go up the stairs so this is the hallway managed to fit in a scout board so another bit nice bit of gameplay there that she's put in for you and then through this door oh we got a very nice bathroom very nice and then shimmer through the door 
and then we go into this door oh we got a lot like a little cute toddler bed oh okay nice bright and colorful big giraffe whoopsie doopsies oh, a little a little touch there with the uh shoes nice and cute and if we go through the other door we've got oh there we go we've got two two more beds so we've got toddler that's one child and child at three plus mum and dad so you can get five sins in here that's pretty good going nice little so they've only got a little area here nice posters on the wall and then so that's their area oopsie doopsie so this is kid number one area it's quite nice and then kid number two area is over here on the little laptop get a little laptop each there we go and then through oh we got like a little monster light so your kids don't sort of like buggy doing the night and then oh tapestry on the wall then we go through a higher and this ah oh, this is the mum and dad's room whoopsie doopsies this is nice yeah i'm really sorry about the high windows i can't the roofing okay oh we got a, we got a tv on the wall yeah that's what you want lying in bed you sort of like wake up your husband or wife brings up her nice cup of tea for you and you just watch some telly have a bit of time for yourself away from the kids oh look at that and then we've got whoopsie doopsies that's too far down then we've got another bathroom so once you had your nice cup of tea by yourself you can further extend it and have a nice quiet shower in your own bathroom away from the family bathroom that's really nice i always like it when showers fit in nicely in this nice sort of small nook it's a really nice house it feels really nice and cozy and family friendly with all the pictures of like um children's pictures i can actually see like a nice little family toddler sort of like running just playing with its its toys it's being annoying and then the little kid playing with his dad with the llama game and then then the other kids just sitting there by the fire with the mum watching telly and the cats trying to get out the fishies you know oh, I get out the fish right let's go through this door and see what's in there so here we have a little oh look at that deck in there we have some pine cones because they always drop during autumn step down off we go down we go and we've got a little swing set for the kids to play on a little bit of monkey bars it will help their um motive skill motor skill oh oh then we can roast some marshmallows after like a hard day with cho hot chocolate and marshmallows so yeah, drink your hot cocoa roast your marshmallows go on some swings the toddler's got a little area so you don't feel left out i got a little cute picnic bench there we've got a little gnome oh and there's plenty of room for um a cat or a dog you could extend because there's plenty of space in this garden for a dog and then round here oh you've got a nice little um floristy station floristy station flower station floristy floristy no florist flower station uh there, and there's plenty of room for a um balloon fight in this garden oh, that's really nice so thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed i will link uh, this house in the description box below um go and follow heather from cali and i'll hopefully see you again soon on the next video i hope you enjoy please like and subscribe and enjoy the rest of your day